my drummer stroke drum teacher from England. Uh, what you saw me doing there was a drum break by Buddy Rich uh, from the album, well I've got the album here, it's called Big Swing Face and uh, I was lucky enough to get it for my 10th birthday in 1967. Incredible album uh, and when I was listening to it as a 10 year old there was a track called Love For Sale and he did a drum break and it was just like what? Uh, that's unbelievable. I mean that drum break even at half speed is really impressive. In fact, let's go and listen to it at half speed. <laughs> I do today is break it down. As I got older and I became a professional drummer, I actually played in an orchestra and they did love for sale. And I decided, let's see if I can attempt to play this thing because it's pretty incredible. So if you get your drumsticks, we're going to go through it. It's a four bar measure. Uh, if you know anything about musical notation, it's in sixteenths. So sixteenths are counted one E under, two E under, three E under, four E under. Now the first bar, you accent the three and the four. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Now the next bar, you accent the end of the one, the three and the end of the four. So it's one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Let's do that again. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. The third bar, you accent the two. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. And again, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. The last bar, you just simply play the one. One. And on the album, uh, Buddy plays bass drums on the uh, numbers. And then when you finish on the one, he plays a bass drum on the two. Now, word of warning, this lick is 235 beats per minute in 16 It's not for the faint-hearted. So we're going to break it down and initially we're going to do it in slow motion. So what I'm going to do now, hopefully you made a note of what I just showed you there. Uh, if not, eagle-eyed people would have noticed when you see, hear the file at the beginning, you can see my notes for it. If you can read music, do that. So I'm going to go over to the drum pad, pad now and do it at 60, you do it with me. And I'm doing it in single one notes. and two and three and four and one. Okay, now I'm going to do it again in single strokes at 117, which is half the speed. Again, you can do it in doubles or you can work out how to do it in paradiddles. I just like to do this as a kind of a sort of jazz rudiment, I suppose. So I'm going to go over to the drums now and show you it at 117. You do one it with and two and three and four and one and two. Okay, now it's going to get a bit more interesting. We're going to go up to 150. Uh, the way I'm going to play it this time, I'm going to do it in doubles. Right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, with accents. So at 150, I'm going to go around it twice. Try, try and do it along with me. Go and give one it a and try. Two and three and four and one and 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 two and so lastly full speed 235 beats per minute you really have to practice to get up to this kind of level uh, but it's great for your technique and it's great for your musicality of course. Everything Buddy played was unbelievable, and even now, uh, I don't know, I, I, I don't see anybody of that kind of level on the planet at the moment. If you're interested in Buddy Rich, I'm reading this fascinating book at the moment about Buddy's life. Very, very good. Get hold of it, because it wasn't just the world's greatest drummer, but it was a really, really interesting guy as well. So I'm going to finish off doing it at full speed. Hopefully you enjoyed this lesson. If you want to know more about me, 
go on my website www.tonycanelli.com. Thanks a lot.